Hey guys, you want to make this one about the future of Koto Khan. So as you know, he's probably buried by now by the end of the Spying team. I mean, they get from the stupid retcon of him having only shot Jade. You're dead. What happened to you? Shao Kahn betrayed me. Ambushed my leader. I was kept alive for Shang Tsung's experiments. Only when he died was I freed. Seeing you again makes it worth living this nightmare. I will not lose you twice. To him getting bodied by Shao Kahn literally three times in the story mode. <laughs> Having an awful death scene, in my personal opinion. My god, they just don't know what to do with this character. And yeah, I'm going to be discussing the future of him because his future is very 50 50 in MK. So, as you know, we may be going back to the way on our where you know, go and you know. Koto also has a beef with Goro in MKX comics. Yeah. So basically what happened was that um they were planning to do some sort of invasion plot, um from what I recall. So there was some sort of civil war going on between Menino and Koro and MKX comics expanded on that. Koto sent out his father to kill Goro and then his father I got bodied by Goro easily like he wasn't even a challenge he literally stole Shao Kahn's hammer off Koto's father and straight up whacked his head from the body literally it's insane oh man by the way the MKX comics he actually had a lot of credibility there too he basically burnt rain to a crisp um, he beat Goro, although I wouldn't say it doesn't count because he was using the blood gold with daggers. They reckoned that apparently the Komidoku is into daggers, which I don't know why, but yeah, it's just dumb. But then he later proves himself by killing King Gorbak, who is Goro's father and way stronger uh, and more of a tactical combatant than Goro. In a 1v1, and he ended up in a karate chop. And he was also more honorable there. Like, he talked to Johnny Cage about like the loss of family, you know. He also was very regretful when he ended the, uh, you know, the. I think he had some tribe following him, and they considered him like some sort of god. And he basically got them killed because of his traditions, which is mainly to rip out people's hearts. And you know, yeah. He was also one of the main members of, like, you know, the. Let's just call it the Havoc clan. Basically, the main members of causing chaos to the realms in Havoc's own major scheme. And yeah. He was done decently well in the comics, had, had a big resume, was honestly, I would honestly call a very big competitor Khan and me, poss he possibly even had a chance to beat him, well he kind of did in MK11 but I wouldn't really count it as much since he just knocked him down, I mean Shao Kahn literally just got back up right after. So MKX comes along. 
he also had to go to Marizume. He managed to stop the, you know, the entire civil war. Beats Tanya, beats Rain. I think Kano and Melina as well. Rain's, his feet against Rain is pretty much because of considering Rain is a demigod. You know. And yeah. And then after that, he just goes to shit. He loses his game against Kung Jin. Then I think he loses against Jackie. Then he fucking loses against Sub Zero and your fucking song god. And then. MK11 gets worse from the. He gets bodied by his supposed girlfriend, Jade, who is not even that powerful in the law, mind you. Um, what else? They also made him a racist for no reason. He literally says filthy to her and stupid to her. I mean, yeah, I get that the Tarkatans evaded him back in, you know, MKX. But that does not give you a right to be racist. Like, you know, he's just a weak simp, to be honest, and... It's just terrible. I mean, like as previously, he got bodied by Shao Kahn three times. Which the final fight ends up being more, way more pathetic than the first two fights he had in the base story. And my god, it was awful. Pretty much one of the most awful decisions in the story I've ever seen. There are tons of awful decisions in NRS's story mode when it comes to MK, but yeah, we're gonna talk about that. Actually, we're not gonna talk about that at all because there's just too many. Yeah. However, MK, given how MK11 ended on a great Kong Lao era, like I said, Goro's involved, you know, his beef with Goro. I have a feeling that the entire civil war thing could happen. In the Great Kong Lao era, where uh, like Shao Kahn has many powerful generals, for example, Ermac, Goro, Kota Khan, Reiko, possibly. Yeah, and I think those four are probably you know, going to be the most powerful generals. Maybe Control and Shiva, too. But I think four generals is enough in this case. And possibly the most realistic. So, they could try to do something with his plot. Maybe Giras could come back and then try to achieve Kronika's plan, but for his own scheme. Maybe he can rest after he set a time the correct way. Maybe possibly being a sub boss. And yeah, maybe he could try and do that through Goro's and Koto's rivalry. I'm supposing that could be like an awesome plot. Gears might try to use that to achieve his own goals. And me and Onoga's obviously gonna be like one of the probably the main boss of MK twelve given that they hinted him a lot in the intros. So given on that storyline alone and maybe possibly I think they could try to also, you know, utilize the Onaga Goro storyline. I think Koto may have a chance in coming back despite how they shared on him in MK11. Because there's already a lot of established things with him in the comics, and then it's also mentioned in MK11 in the intros with Shiva, you know. But in saying that, he is a new gen character, so I wouldn't count on him coming back or any of the new gen characters. Come back to one, three. Everyone back is a completely different case because we don't know how he, when did he get his immortality? Apparently, it's like five hundred years ago, but I honestly don't know. I don't honestly don't even know if guns works. That's going to be it for my uncertain future for KK and MK series. If you enjoyed the video, put a like, put a comment.
for one two and uh, if there's anything wrong with my videos put a comment to see what I can do to improve and uh, peace